gentlemen my name is Bansky here and welcome back to another delicious video and today we're going to be playing some payday 2 so for this gameplay I decided we're gonna do a stealth mission so hopefully this stealth mission goes over very well but first before we even start a mission let's check out the, the skill set so as you can clearly see I have Shinobi maxed out. That's gonna come really in handy for stealth. And then, of course, we got your, got your basic stuff. For this, we're gonna remove the third log tree. Because, of course, we don't want no sentries trying to lure our position or anything. We're not going down proudly. Just in case, we're gonna remove the points from here. And we're going to put the points towards the drills. Just in case we might have to crack open a few doors quickly. There we go. Now, let's see. Yeah, why not? But yeah, so far, ladies and gentlemen, so far I decided to max out Shinobi. We have Duck and Cover, which allows me to regenerate my stamina very quickly and allows me to run faster. So that should be very well for doing a little jump crouch technique. If you know, if you know, know the crouch technique, it's pretty much a technique where you can literally like run in front of the guards and do this weird. It's a weird mechanic that allows you to literally just completely avoid detection despite the fact that you're right in front of them. It's like the quickest way to, let's just say, stay off the radar as much as you possibly can. If you don't know the, don't know the technique, just look it up. And I, trust me, it will, it will come very handy for stealth missions. Just in case you probably do a stealth mission on one of really hard maps to do. Bit, but so far, also got a little bit of leveling in my gunslinger because, of course, we're gonna go pistol only. Despite the fact there are there are certain guns in the game where you can do, where you can have silencer on them, but I prefer the pistol because for my setup right now, I currently have it where my pistol reloads faster, and the base damage on my pistol does more damage. So if I do get spotted, uh, at the very least I can kill them, kill them as fast as I can before, you know, they can sound the alarm. And of course for my breach, I decided to just, well, upgrade my drill just in case, you know. I had some of those missions where these things really would come in handy for making some, some quick openings. But yeah, with all that being said, let's find ourselves a mission, shall we? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for this first video, we're going to do, do a diamond heist. Hmm, yeah, why not? Easy payday, you know? Pretty much our objectives are very simple. Find and override two router boxes so that Bane can hack the security system. Find three laptops and inquire all pieces of the security code. Get the 
Key card from the CEO's son. CEOs. Mm. And last but not least, open the vault and steal the diamonds. And we get a potential stealth bonus if we do so. Risk? Mm, very basic, just hard. You know. But yeah. With all that being said though, let's hop straight into our sweet payday. Sorry if I'm talking weird. Alright guys, seemed like a simple diamond heist. Risk level 1, not too bad. And we have all the extra stuff we need. Now of course it's going to be a full stealth mission, so of course we got our ECM gemmers. Our two-piece suit. Our throwing knives. A utility knife. And of course the best weapons for stealth. Except for the assault rifle. That is absolutely not for stealth. But hey. Who knows. Maybe we'll go loud and proud. Just kidding. We're not going to go loud and proud. But with all that being said. Let's see what we got here. I'm just going to skip this. Because I don't really care what they got to say. Alright. Now let's see. How are we going to do this? i done this mission before by the way. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's just this time, I want to try to actually get a video of this. Sadly, I have not analyzed their um, their movement. I analyzed it a little bit. So there should be a guard somewhere over here. Oh, wait. There's not one. Oh, there got a birthday boy. Okay, so the birthday boy has a key card. We know that for sure. We need to get that key card from the birthday boy. Now... There is a way we can do that. There is a room that the birthday boy goes in that I usually will wait for him to go in there. And then I take him down when no one can see him. But now I have to be careful. There's a camera right there and should be... Oh, yep. One's right there. Okay, so the map layout is not that hard to navigate since I've gotten used to it. So, by the way, I also play this map with my with my uh, homie Bun Bun, but we fell a couple times. And we su we successfully defeated this map, but at the cost of us having to go loud and proud at the end, if I, if I recall. We did end up beating it, though. Yep. Oh, yeah, which, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, he is, he is in a Discord call with me. <laughs> so, you, so if you hear him, yeah, he, th that's him. Okay, let's see if... Oh, okay, let's let's let this guard come through. So far, I don't think any guards are going to come through there. They might. But so far, the plan is very, very, very simple. And that is to try to hack the system, which one is right below me. Which I can easily navigate through. Boom. Alright, oh, guard. There's a guard right there. Okay, I'm gonna block the camera with a with a jammer. Great. Now let's see. There's pos there's possibly a guard in this in that hallway. So let's Oh, yep, see? I think it's this one. Now now the real question is, where is that freaking, oh wait, wait till the EC jammer goes out and I should be able to see it. Yep, it's right there. Okay, so I was right next to it. Oh, both are right next to each other. That is great. This is a great setup. Um, so let's see, where the, oh, the guard's right there. Okay. Yep. If he goes that way, we can get this one, one out of the way. Boom, that's one. There's a camera right there, though. Oh, no. I think we can get this one without being seen. Unless this guard turns around. Let's mark him, just in case. Yeah, he's... Oh, but he's looking this way. Oh, no. I think I can get this one without being spotted. Yep, got it. Okay. Now, why Bane is hacking the systems, let's try to sneak our way through 
do it without getting detected by the cameras. So hopefully find the um, laptops we need to find. Which, by the way, if we can find all three of the laptops, we should be able to get a three-digit code that will allow us to pretty much unlock the vault once these things are hacked. But so far, let me see. Okay, the guards over there. That's the birthday boy. Okay, so we can get that birthday boy in that one room. I just talked. To, I just mentioned earlier. We we can be really open to some opportunity. Oh, guard right there. So far, I want to try to avoid this guard as much as possible. Okay. Now I should be able to sneak past the guard. Okay, yes, we can get the birthday boy right here. This is perfect. This is perfect. Yep. Now we tie up the birthday boy. Now we got the key card. Now, if I can hide his head, it sh this should work. Oh, that, that doesn't hide his head. Oh, that doesn't hide his head. Follow me. He's making this very complicated. I don't think any security guards come in here, but just in case, hopefully we can get them close to this wall. Boom, that's that's it. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I'm struggling so hard to get his head through that wall. Well, it turns out in Payday 2, there is actually a case where detection is literally all in the head. A literal joke that I got from the guy who actually tipped me on this. Apparently... The guards cannot see your body, but the thing that they detect in this game is your head. So, of course, as long as this guy's head is covered by this wall, they shouldn't be able to see him even if they cross this pathway. So, hopefully it works and nothing stupid happens. But with all that being said, let's look for the laptops that Bane wants to look for. Now, of course, I don't know where all laptops are. But that's, that's where it comes the interesting part of actually trying to find them. Oh, by the way, there's an extra objective where you see these glasses right here with diamonds in them. We can actually, she like, crack open those glasses and take the diamonds. Well, not actually break the glass, but, you know, use a glass cutter to cut it open and <laughs> take, take what we believe is now belong to us. Oh, and look at that. See? Bane decided to help out a little bit, which is practically normal on this mission. Where if you take way too long trying to find one of the laptops, he actually points it out for you by lighting it up, which is a good thing. That makes it very easy to get to one laptop to another. Now I gotta make sure. Oh, you're going one right here. So blue, so so blue six. We gotta remember that. Now where can I where can I type that or write that? Cause I don't know how to I don't know how to enter chat with this. All right, if I use if I use a controller, I cannot use that. Hold on one second. I want to write I want to type that down or something. Write that down. Okay, so the first number was blue six. Great, all right, I got it down. Now, there is one thing you should know about the laptops. While the laptops, they have, they do move around the, around the whole complex, as I, I like to call it. 
every time you fail a mission. So every time you fail a mission, the places of the laptops always switches up. So just just take that in mind. And not only that, the color and the numbers also change. So yeah, it kind of suck when you fail this mission and you have to go and try to find a laptops again. It can really be a pain. But luckily for me, all three laptops are located on one side of the map. Meaning that I can access them, which, yep, of course, there's a laptop right in that corner. But it's okay, because the camera cannot see me while I'm here. Okay, so green three. By the way, guys, these are going to be the codes for the vault. Which, luckily, by Shindai's security system, I, I won't have to deal with the lasers that blocks off the vault. Okay, let's see. There's a camera right there. But luckily for me, the camera cannot see me until I enter this doorway. So I'm just going to take a quick peek. Guard right there. I can sneak past this camera since the detection rate is slow. Since I don't... I'll have, yep, look at that. Look at that. Using tech to my advantage. Can't... Oh, yeah. I, uh oh Wait, is people from the party leaving? Oh, okay. See, one thing, one thing, one thing, guys, is that the worst case is that you're literally like running into the party guests. Oh. Hold on, wait, wait to the uh. Mark that guard just in case. I think it's just one guard on this floor. Okay, so is he gonna look this way? Add a camera loop right here. Now, by adding a camera loop, I'm practically safe right here. But now I gotta go in this room. Okay, next code is red two. See? Now, if we cut this open, boom. We got we got ourselves three grand. Now let's see. What was the code again? Red two. All right, now we're gonna write that down so we don't forget. Red two. All right, now that we did that, now it's time to open the vault. Let's go this way since it's safer. We can sneak past this camera. I'm gonna plant this jammer so that the camera don't see us. We'll try to see can we avoid detection from this guard. Cause so far I ain't taken out any guards. So So blue, oh, red is two, green is three, and blue is six. Okay, I did it. Mark the guard. See, now this is a good setup, see? Look at that. See, not too hard mission. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We're inside the vault. Let's go. See, now this is a fairly easy mission to do stealthily. Which, of course, if you're a first timer, it can be. I'm not gonna lie, first timer. It's pre it's pretty hard when you're not knowing what you what you're doing, but once you understand the map layouts, it gets a little bit easier. Oh, by the way, there should be something special. Oh, never mind. 
By the way, on a map like this, there is one, there is a particular mission where there's like a red jewel in the middle. Where, of course, if you get it, it's worth like a good mil. Like, you get a lot from it. But, of course, we don't have that mission here. We're doing something. It's the same mission, except it doesn't come with the... That juicy red ruby I stole last time. Well, so far, let's just try to steal all the diamonds. Let's make sure I got everything. Now, I could stay behind and steal some extra loot. But the question is, do I want to? Because let's be honest, I don't want to get too greedy. You know what? Let's just focus on stealing the diamonds. There. Okay. Now, here comes the part where things are about to get spicy. We actually got to somehow leave out with the bags without getting caught. <laughs> Which is easier said than done. Now that I marked that guard, I know when he's going to move. I feel I feel like we should kill some guards. Just to make this run not too difficult. Yeah, he moved. Okay, let's play this safe. Let the guard pass. He won't see us. Okay. I should have I should have took out that guard. That guard was going to be a huge hinder to the mission forward. But luckily for me, he enters that back room oftenly. So, now all I have to do is get through here. Yep, luckily this is a safe area. Boom, that's the first bag. There is a guard that, that comes around here, so let's keep that in mind. Lucky that's a safe zone when it comes to cameras. Let's use that one guard back here. Because if I can kill him, the only thing I gotta worry about is the cameras, possibly. There. He's the first guard we kill. We, ha I had to do this, ladies and gentlemen. There was no way I was gonna let this guy ruin my run. There. Okay. Now, we need to cover up this body best as we can because if anyone comes comes back here to cover for him and sees that body, I'm screwed. Because apparently their eyes work so well when they see when they see a body bag in the area, meaning that they can detect it from a super far range I'm gonna place a camera loop over here now question is can I sneak past this guard yes I can boom all right now my my biggest problem is trying to sneak past the guards above. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> see? Okay, that was easy as cake. Oh, see? There's a guard that enters back here. Mark, mark him. So getting past him, see, look at that. See, we're, we're, we're making moves, we're making moves. Yes, sir. This guard gotta go. That's two pagers, two pagers down. 
That it's okay. Two guys gone, that's okay. Getting rid of these guys will, will save us so much time. Reload. Now let's go get the bags. There is a guy on this rooftop, but we're not going to worry about him since he's not really a big of an issue. We're going to add a camera loop to this one. Look at that, baby. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving. We're moving. He doesn't see us. Now, if we keep moving, we should be able just to run straight through here, despite that camera detecting us a little bit. We're not going to worry about the guard up there because we're going to use some basic maneuvers. Now, one thing I will point out is that we could go to a rooftop, kill this guard, and just drop the diamonds down from the from the rooftop onto the ledge. But what's the fun in that? It's better when the stakes are high. Even though the stakes are not really that high. See? Because this guard, he's going to go right through that doorway. And that's when I can make my move. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's sneak past these cameras with practical ease. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look what happens when you do those, the sprint crouch technique. He's going to go that way. He's not going to, yep. I take that just for a little bit of extra cash. He's gonna come. He's gonna stand right there, stare that way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a camera loop to this because I can. Look at that. Boom. Look at that, baby. That's more loot for us. Okay, see? Now that we collect enough diamonds, we can escape. But, as you as you should know, we still have more bags. So, I'm thinking, ladies and gentlemen, why not we take all of them? <laughs> okay. There's a guard right there. We could go our way to kill this guard. But I don't think killing this guard will prove any effective strategic advantage. So we're just going to let him breeze on by them. Go home to see his family. Don't worry, Bane. We're getting, we're getting the stuff. Crouch check. Yeah, he doesn't see us from, from this far, which is such a blessed thing. He shouldn't, he shouldn't be able to see us until we go over here. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, detection is all in the head. Boom. Now... All we need to do is get through, get through with the diamond, which we should go right into here, add his camera loop, crouch, crouch technique, ooh, look at that technique, ooh, I'm drippy, let's see, oh, Bam, look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Mark the guard. Crouch technique, crouch technique. Ooh. Ooh. 
How many bags do we have? Oh, we got like three bags. I, I gotta kill this guard. He's gonna attack me. That's okay. This is a third body. He got a little bit too curious. Now all we gotta do is toss his body in a good spot. Which is kinda hard because I don't I don't know if anyone's gonna come back here. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Let's go over here. Cause the cameras they don't point this direction. And so we're gonna put him right behind No. Put him somewhere really, really safe. Yeah, right behind his desk. This is safe as possible because I don't think anyone's gonna come back here and, and check for a dead body, you know. But with all that being said, though, let's place this camera loop right here because I can. There we go. Now we're gonna collect this bag right here. Now, of course, I could be saving myself some time by. Simply not acting like a dodo brain here. But luckily for me, I am not that big of a dodo brain. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Crouch technique out of here. This is probably a safe zone right here. Oh, oh, okay, I got a little bit too cocky there. Look at that, oh, that pillar saved me. You know, guys, for this run, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'll get a little bit risque and try to collect all the diamonds around the complex. You know what? Let's do it. You know what? Okay. Wait, let me see. Mm. I don't know where all the diamonds are on the complex. Well, I shouldn't say complex because it's technically not a complex. So far, if we play our role smart here. Ooh, look at that. The guard's keeping an eye out. I gotta be careful because the guard spots me with the diamonds. It's gonna, it's gonna get very hairy. Oh, I wonder why he backtracked. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Let me take a bite out of my Lucky Burrito. Mmm. Scrumptious. Now nah, we can... Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Like, look at this. This is such an easy setup. Now, all I gotta do is avoid getting detected by more than one guard. <laughs> Because if I can manage to sneak through without getting my cheeks spotted by the camera. I'm going to run through here despite me almost getting caught doing, doing that. There. Got the last bag. Now we can escape. If I can find this last guard. Okay, 
Okay, I need this guy to come right back over here. Yep, that worked. That worked great for me right now. Now we apply, apply that camera. Like, look at this. This is such an easy, easy heist. Solo heist. Like, come on now. Uh oh. Hold up. Guards. It doesn't matter. Once he once he leaves, I I can go straight to the exit point. Oh, 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 you almost caught me with that maneuver. Bingo. Oh my God, dude, dude, dude I just, I just. All lost right, we're all set, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. I, Willie, I think I officially hate this game. <laughs> dude, I just jumped. I've done this jump three times now, and I made it first try every time. I did exactly what I did every time. I jumped and I fucking died. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. I didn't change anything that I did, and I just lost 28,000 souls. I... I am... I'm, I'm about to just stop playing. Oh, that's okay. That's how Elder Rings is, bro. It's all about the challenge. Dying from jumping? Oh, I know. My God, that just made me hate this game with a burning passion. Oh. Yep. But yeah, all right. That's that's it, everybody. As you can clearly see, that was so far a very, very easy mission for me to do. And it's probably because I've done this multiple times and failed. Quite I'm so sorry quite for, a like, bit. I'm sorry for interrupting you and shit, my bad. I just Oh no 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 no, no you're you're fine. <laughs> hey, more content. <laughs> but but no oh, yeah. but with all that being said though, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy this payday two content. Make sure you go down in the comment section if you have anything to say about me or the content I'm uploading. Or if you want me to play any specific games that you just love to see on the channel. And hell, we might I might have a little adventure with me and me and my uh, my little saucy buck over here, Bun Bun. But yeah, but with all that being said though, I promise I promise we'll do more harder stealth missions next time. To actually create mmm. No, an actual challenge. Because let's be honest, that mission was way too easy. Because I've gotten so used to it. But with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces! Big deuces. <laughs> <laughs>